Hello children. Welcome to exercises of practical life. Your favorite activity. Some of you have done it and some of you it is quite new. And uh, your mommy and daddy do not know this. So let's show them how it's done so that you, they will allow you to do it at home. Okay. This activity is called sponging. Sponging. We have been transferring from one cup to another grains. Yeah. Now we are going to work with water where I am going to transfer water from this bowl to this bowl using the sponge. Okay. A sponge is something which can hold water in it. So this you will take this material with the tray you will take it from the shelf of exercises of practical life and you are going to do it on the chowki on the chowki because we are going to do water based activities you definitely have to bring two things one is called the oil cloth oil cloth because it will help the mat from the chowki from not getting wet is it not oil cloth and we always had a way to roll and unroll the oil cloth is it not like this oil cloth then we had the wiping cloth this is for wiping any spillage that is there wiping cloth after using it you know where to go and put it no you go to the balcony and you'll put a clip there and you put it for drying so you have to bring oil cloth wiping cloth okay now i'm going to show you how we are going to do this and for this you'll have to go take water from the tap but miss juno has already got the water in a tumbler for you okay you will go take it from the tap in your house and if you do not have oil cloth in your house no problem there will be place mats right when you are sitting down for eating your lunch there will be one plastic play mat or a rexine place mat which mommy puts on the table you can do with that also okay that is also good for as an oil cloth idea is don't spoil the chowki or your table okay let's get started oil cloth You remember unrolling the oil cloth? There. This is the side we need to use. Next I will bring the wiping cloth and keep it here. And from the tray I will take out the sponge and the two bowls. If you notice there is one bowl with a marking on it, a black marking, black circular marking and the one without a marking. I am going to take this one to the tap and fill water. So I open the tap and the water keeps pouring in. When the water comes to this level we stop. Today I am going to pour from the tumbler not from the tap. So you have to tell me stop when we reach there. Okay. Stop. If you see I have a little more left in this but I am not going to pour it because I want it own little here. Okay. Now is the most interesting part. I am going to dip the sponge in this and the sponge is going to take in all the water. Okay. Then with both my hands without spilling much I have to quickly move here and 
squeeze dip take it both my hands squeeze i can use like this squeeze dip squeeze we have to try and do this without spilling there may be few drops but it's okay but try our best not to mess up in your first time it will be little challenging difficult it's just little more anyway i'm going to wipe it up and squeeze one last time now this is empty and see what have i spilled just few drops of water i can wipe it off that's it now what will i do it's so nice right i don't want to stop so i am going to do again by transferring all this water from here to this bowl squeeze 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 there i've taken all the water at the side inside this squeeze that's all so now i have finished my activity you can keep doing this how many ever times you know now miss you know will never stop you from doing this you keep doing 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 till you had enough of it once you had enough of it you're going to take this to the wash basin and pour it out okay let's assume i went and poured it in the wash basin so now what will i do i'm going to put it back in the shelf when you put it back in the shelf my children always must remember that you have to dry it up dry it wipe it up nicely dry on the inside outside okay dry i have one more to dry up wipe on the inside wipe on the outside it's dry i'll put it in this and put the sponge back into the box to the tray and then wipe off these droplets of water which is here okay after i have wiped it dry what will i do we have to go put it for drying because it is wet so i go and peg it clip it on the cloth line which is in the balcony by the time i come back and see my oil cloth will be dry it will be completely dry if it is not dry i'll have to go put this also on the cloth line and clip it in the balcony if it is dry turn it and roll it oil cloth will go up to the oil cloth stand the tray will go to the shelf in the exercise of practical life that's all i hope you will enjoy doing this at home bye bye